As the appetite for news grows in the 80s, there is one story Australians can't get enough of. The events which led to Australia's most publicised court hearing began on the night of the 17th of August 1980. Azaria Chamberlain, nine weeks old, disappeared from her parents' tent in a camping ground near Ayers Rock. Her mother, Lindy Chamberlain, had raised the alarm, saying she had seen a dingo near the tent. Police, park rangers and Aboriginal trackers continued the grim search for the baby girl. The dingo's got my baby. I remember seeing Lindy Chamberlain on camera and she was holding one of her boys. And you could immediately feel this woman's pain. And over the, the, the days that followed and Australia became more and more intrigued with this woman, who was holding it together, I think, more than most people would have imagined they could do in the same situation. It's only when they leave Ayers Rock after an exhaustive search that the Chamberlains become aware of the media circus about to engulf them. When we were on our way home and travelled through Alice Springs, we noticed that every magazine and newspaper that existed had big billboards and we were the front story and that's when we realised that it was much, much bigger than anything we'd thought. We never expected anything on front pages even, let alone every magazine. It was the biggest issue obviously since Goff's dismissal back in, in, uh, in 75. The initial inquest into Azaria's disappearance finds that she was taken by a dingo. I further find that neither the parents of the child nor either of their remaining children were in any degree whatsoever responsible for this death. But the police aren't satisfied with the findings and the nation is divided on what really happened that night. Everybody had an opinion on that and it divvied up pretty much 50-50. I think we're all guilty of ignorance. We're all guilty of the fact that, that, that Lindy Chamberlain and Michael Chamberlain didn't behave like normal grieving people. I reacted the way everybody did. Did she do it? Did she not do it? And there were stories of how she, the baby was in black when it was, when it was all these sort of strange, uh, ritualistic cult things that were not true. And yet they just got, they ran amok. We got everything from sympathy to hate, from spitting to hugging. And you never knew which it was going to be, except that those who were nasty tended to sort of have this quick look around, no one's watching, and do it when you were more on your own or the street was more deserted rather than in a shopping mall or something like that. I think probably Lindy Chamberlain would have been treated even worse today with Twitter and Facebook than she was back then, and they did it hard back then. After a second inquest and subsequent trial, Lindy is convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison. There was such a lack of information. I think there was um, a problem with the evidence that was presented. It, was, it seemed to be fairly botched. And so what tends to happen in a vacuum of information like that is people will start to make things up. In 1986, police investigating the death of a hiker around Uluru discover Azaria's matinee jacket, a crucial piece of evidence missing at the trial. The Attorney General orders Lindy's immediate release from prison. Both she and Michael said then um, that they doubted that their marriage would survive. And I just thought, you poor things, you know, this is really, uh, you've been taken to hell and back by the Australian public and by the press. The convictions of Lindy and Michael Chamberlain are overturned by the courts in 1988. After the Royal Commission, our names were cleared, but not legally. So the death certificate for Azaria was still listed as murder. It's not until 2012 that a coroner finally declares the cause of her death was as the result of being attacked and taken by a dingo. And has the death certificate amended? Most people cried because they were so involved either in their own reactions or um, feeling happy. So there was sad tears and happy tears but no longer any question because the court had said it now, so it must be true. 